everyone today i would like to solve an algebraic problem for you so we have the condition x to the power of 2 plus x plus 1 equals 0 and we would like to calculate what would be x to the power of 500 plus 1 over x to the power of 500. let's see how we can solve this problem if i if you look at the condition here so basically i would like to multiply both sides of the equation by x so I have x times x to the power of 2 plus x plus 1 equals 0. I'm allowed to do that because x cannot be 0. Because if you put x 0 here, basically you get 0 plus 0 plus 1 equals 0. And we know that actually that is not true. So x cannot be 0. And I can comfortably multiply both sides of the equation as long as x is by x as long as x is not zero so let's see what i get from this i get x to the power of three plus x2 plus x equals zero and if you pay attention to this part x2 plus x this is precisely what i have here um, in the condition so basically uh, from the condition i can say x2 plus x equals minus 1 and if just if I just substitute that part with minus 1 then here I get x3 minus 1 equals 0 or in other words x3 equals 1 this helps me in calculating this expression which I call it a because I can basically write x to the power of 500 in the following way so I can say x to the power of 500 is basically x to the power of 3 to the power of 166. I will tell you how I got this 166 uh, times x to the power of 2 and plus the same here. So here I have x to the power of 3 times um, um, to the power of 166 times x2. So basically um, this is how we got, if we, this is how we got the, um, 166 if we if we basically divide uh, 500 by uh, 3 so as a quotient we get 166 and here we have 198 and here we get 2 that's how I got 166 um, so basically here we have x3 equals 1 and then uh, I can say a equals to 1 times x2 because 1 to the power of 166 is always 1 so I get 1 uh, x to the power of 2 plus 1 over x to the power of 2 uh, that's not the end of the story because now I can write um, this expression as x plus 1 over x to the power of 2 minus 2 I'm sure you know how this is done and now I just need to calculate what would be x plus 1 over x and going back to the condition again, I write it here again. So I knew that x is not 0. So I can divide both sides of the equation this time by x instead of multiplication. So I get basically this here. And then this gives me x plus 1 plus 1 over x equals 0. In other words, x plus 1 over x equals minus 1. And if I go back there... I have a equals to minus 1 to the power of 2 minus 2 or in other words this expression this giant one is basically uh, 1 minus 2 which is minus 1 so um, yeah it sounded really easy but, uh, with this trick please make sure uh, that you like my video if you really liked um, this simple solution and also you subscribe to my channel because I will be posting a lot of interesting mathematical problems.